All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel, and we are taking a look at VET on the daily chart here. So, really nothing to do on crypto at the moment, but look at the support and the resistance. Uh, these things are finding now. We did have that massive drop on pretty much everything. Uh, we all know what's going on in the crypto world right now. So, we'll have to see how this stuff plays out uh, before we can get back into, you know, drawing some patterns and stuff because everything just you know you can't draw anything on this I mentioned that in a previous video uh, so what's going on with vet here it came down here and actually held support at its uh, macro low here at 018 so this is a very crucial price in my opinion for vet to hold if we actually switch over here to the weekly chart let's get this to where you can see it uh, you can see that this is where we had resistance all back here on vet so <clears throat> that's the reason you came down here and actually tagged that for support so switching back over here to the daily chart uh if you lose that support there your next stop is down here at zero one one uh and i don't think that price would hold if it, in, um, to be honest if you lose this low here at zero one eight this thing's gonna have a pretty decent drop so you're looking at about seven percent to get back down to that line there uh, and if you lose zero one eight zero one one is next for a 40 almost a 41 percent drop and then it's a 60 percent drop down here and you'd come all the way down here to zero zero eight uh that would be a really great buying opportunity in my opinion for a v chain uh if it does go down there which it, it possibly could so just keep an eye on zero one eight and then probably 008 down here. I don't think 011 holds because uh, if we actually switch back to the macro picture, you can see that, that there's really no support here. You bounced on it one time here. So I don't think that will hold if it comes to a second time. You can see all the resistance that 008 has back here. So all this resistance will turn into support. So switching back to the daily chart, so just kind of watch those prices if it does in fact move down. But like I said, it vet probably it, it should hold the low here, uh, unless we have some more uh, selling pressure come into the whole crypto market. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it's, it's looking like uh, since Bitcoin did take off the low that we are in a four-year cycle. So you know who's to know where we're gonna go. But all I can do is really point out uh, what you could potentially tag if you lose. Uh, the support you're on now so just kind of watch that and for a move back up you can see that we held this support here for so long at this zero two one level so that's going to be your price to get over if you move up you can see you did get stuck at it almost twice here over the last coming uh, couple of days so a six and a half percent move to try to get back over zero two one and reclaim that support there so we'll have to see. So just kind of watch that price to the upside. And like I said, watch these prices to the downside. Watch 0.18 uh, to hold for support. So we may just be in store for some consolidation here. And, and we'll have to see if we can break back above two cents. And if we lose this one cent area, uh, it's gonna get pretty ugly, like I said. Uh, the Heiken Nashi candles, printing super bearish at the moment. So nothing looks good in the crypto space right now, but we're just taking it day by day. So with that being said, none of this is financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.